Now to Labor News this Wednesday, Trade Union Congress President Obi Ferguson, who is also the attorney representing employees who were terminated from Sandals Royal Bahamian Resort on Monday, vows to seek redress on what he terms their unfair termination. Monday's terminations follows last week's court action when resort executives were charged in the magistrate's court for failing to recognize the union as a bargaining agent for employees. The Bahamas Hotel Maintenance and Allied Workers Union had been seeking to get Sandals to come to the negotiation table since 2009. Ferguson, though, says he plans to sue the resort on behalf of the employees. At Antigua and Bermuda, in the Caribbean, and other Caribbean islands, Sandals have an agreement, an industrial agreement, negotiated industrial agreement without a problem. We have not made any financial demand on Sandals. The only thing we ask Sandals to do which the law requires is them to sit down with the union, but they chose not to. Workers had to sign letters to receive their severance pays that NS understands, and the TUC president said that should have not happened. That is not the law, and that's one of the grounds upon which I'm going to court, because the Chief Justice of the Bahamas, Michael, uh, Sir Michael Barnett, he ruled on this very same point and back in 2012, where the, where the employer insisted that the worker must sign a release in order to get a check. So that's totally unfair. It's unreasonable. It's unconscionable. You have to stop playing with these foreigners. You come into our country, but abide by the laws of the land. And when our leaders go to make these heads of agreement, someone from the labor should be at that table. I'm not talking about the Minister of Labor. I talk about labor from the various unions should be at that table so you can know how to treat our people. Because we don't know what they're signing in a way. You sign away millions of dollars in concessions to the very same man that are mistreating workers with no disregard and without any total respect. Well, in the wake of those workers being terminated from the Sandals Royal Bahamian Resort this week, Bahamas Hotel Catering and Allied Workers Union President Nicole Martin is renewing her call for the labor laws in the country to be amended. Martin noted that a similar situation happened when workers at the Pink Sands Resort in Harbor Island, Eleuthera were fired after the resort closed its doors. She noted that the Industrial Relations Act must be amended to ensure that all Bahamian workers are protected. Currently, the way it, it is set up, it seems as if all the employer has to do is say that he is ceasing or he is minimizing his operation. And by definition, he would have um, complied with the definition of redundancy in the law. Um, there is clearly a need um, to amend the legislation. Um, because they are, th these employers seem like they have found the loophole and they are exploiting it. Um, and while the union can bring these things to the forefront, we cannot change them. The government has to change them. Bahamas Public Services Union President John Pinder said urgent steps must be taken to close the loopholes in the law which allow for workers to be treated unfairly. We've been saying to the government that this clause in the Employment Act that allows for an employer to terminate without cause or to even use a redundancy clause in the Employment Act is an unfair practice as relates to the amount of compensation that is paid. I've been saying for years that when investors are coming into our country and they know they're coming into, or they should be made aware of the fact, if they're coming into a unionized organization or the fact that the Bahamas is a unionized environment. Meanwhile, Sandals legal counsel Lennox Patton said in a statement that the layoffs was the only legal option available to the resort to make repairs over the course of the next two months. Chairman of the Sandals brand, Gordon Butch Stewart, said, quote, From the moment that corporate engineers said we could not complete this work with guests in the resort, we had no choice but to temporarily close down this property, end quote. Mr. Stewart added that they wanted to accomplish the work in the shortest period of time, so as the last guests departed, the heavy equipment moved in. Sandals officials claim the 600 laid off were also advised that they would be first in line for the interview and application process that would begin as early as next week. About 60 workers will be transferred to Exuma, where Sandals Emerald Bay will accommodate many of the guests being relocated from Nassau because of the construction. That Exuma operation is not affected.